How's it going, guys? Dugo by TCG here, and we'll be opening up two mystery boxes. One's called the Chaos Box, and one's the Mystery Power Box. I'm going to put them up against each other and see which one can actually come out on top. Um, I'll probably do like a running counter to see which one wins the actual shootout, basically, or like the uh, just who has more value. I've actually seen some pretty good things about the Chaos Box. Like, it's not insane. By any means, but I do know the mystery power boxes have actually been pretty decent usually, so should be fun to open. I've had this mystery power box for a while. I just got the chaos box. It's, it's been out for, I think, a little bit, but the mystery power box came out holiday last year. And actually, it's decent. It is decent. Like I will say, it's not a bad product. Let's actually start with the Mr. Power Box. Let's see what's in here. Oh, I think we got a really bad one. I think we got a really bad one. Hold on, though. Okay, I think this one's going to lose. Start off with a horrible Fist of the Gadgets. One of the worst sets ever made. Leave in the comments, is this the worst set in Yu-Gi-Oh's history? I, it could be. It's very bad. Ooh, nice. Uh, secret is probably 30 cents. What else did we get in here? We did get a Maximum Crisis, but then we got another Fist of the Gadgets. Oh my god. Let's just get through these Fists of the Gadgets first, because they're going to have no value at all. I'm only going to count cards if they're like over a dollar anyways. Which, there may be a few of them in Fists of the Gadgets that are worth a dollar, but I don't think so. Actually, this could be one of them. Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Panda. That could be a decent one. Let's get through that last. I thought I saw one more. Yeah, another Fists of the Gadgets. Just one of the worst sets ever. Maybe that Archfiend's Calling, I think is what it's called, could be over a dollar. Again, not a great card, though. Brotherhood of the Firefist Eagle. Could be worth something, but I doubt it. So let's get into some better card packs. We got Hidden Summoners, which shouldn't be too bad. I'm trying to remember what's in Hidden Summoners. I actually think there's some decent cards in here. But I think it's like... Fist of the Gadgets, where it's all supers. Yep, I'm right. And then I think it's a secret at the end. Thunder Dragon, that's pretty cool. Flash Fusion. And probably something that's not worth anything. Orogo Guma, the Wield Maya Kishi. The, actually, the lettering screwed up on that. Um, actually, let's reveal the deck we got. So it's a gadget deck. I've never seen this one. Maybe it has some value. We're going to leave it sealed. Because I'll probably hold the most value being sealed. And then we do have a Maximum Crisis. This is the set of Ash Blossoms in. I'm 100% sure. I'm not 100% sure. I believe this is the set of Ash Blossoms in. So actually not a bad pack to pull. I mean, I think Ash Blossom Secret would still be pretty expensive. Even though this is unlimited. But we don't get an Ash Blossom. We get a Sylvan Priest... Prince, Princess Sprite, Dimension of Chaos. I'm trying to think, what's in Dimension of Chaos? This is a not. This is a good set too. Is Thunder Dragon Colossus in this set. I think there is some decent cards, but we did not pull one, obviously. So nothing very good in there. Okay, I think Chaos Box is a pretty good chance. I would say we're. That deck might be 10 bucks though, so that might help it out a lot. So let's see what we get in here. Oh, Judgment of Light, not bad. Uh, uh, Breakers of Shadow, I don't think that's bad. Cybernetic Horizon, not the greatest. And then, oh, the 2019 tin, that's not bad. I wish it. If it would have been 2020 tin, that would have been absolutely crazy. And then Pharaoh Servant. That would be the pack we opened last. I guess we can go to Cybernetic Horizon. It's not a first edition. 
I don't think any of these really are. So we got Breaking of the World. I'm trying to think of what's good in Cybernetic Horizon. Well, not that card. These are cool in um, the OCG version, which surprisingly we're actually going to be doing a Cybernetic Horizon OCG opening because the set was much better in um, Japanese and Korean because it had higher rarity cards in it. Oh, there's the super rare. My bad. Haven't opened up Judgment of Light. Honestly, probably maybe never. Hoping to pull something. They're both kind of losing. It just would suck if that box wins just because of the deck. That'd be a bummer. Hopefully, Breakers of Shadow can do something. Oh, we got a Buster Dragon Ultra Rare. I'll take that. That's probably the best pull of the whole opening so far. Don't know the value on it because it has been reprinted before. What set was this reprinted in? I think this set, this card has been reprinted, right? I think it would probably be a little more valuable if it wasn't reprinted, but it has. We might be able to pull something good out of this 19 tin. I'm trying to think of what was in the 19 tins. Would Appaloosa have been in this tin? That might have been one of the better cards. Nightmare Mermaid. Oh, and Trap Trick. That's going to be a pretty good card. I know it just got reprinted. Actually, surprisingly, it just got reprinted in um, Tactical Masters. But actually, this is a pretty good pull. I don't know about the mermaid. I don't think so. But the Trap Trick might actually have some value. I just don't know how valuable it will be now because it got reprinted. And it's actually as a, a rare printing, and that has the collector's rare printing. Um, collector's rare printing is very good. Very expensive card. So, yeah, that's actually pretty cool. Trap Trick, I'll take that. That's not a bad pull at all. I think Chaos Box is going to win. It just might not win because of the stupid, uh, the deck. The deck might be the reason it loses. So let's see if Pharaoh's Servant can do something. Actually, let's do a pack trick on Pharaoh's Servant. Um, yeah, so it'd be that many cards. Just to maybe spice it up a little bit. Maybe we can get a Jinzo. Then this will 100% win. Grave Robber. At least we got a super rare. I mean, I would say the Chaos Box won, but we'll obviously know the values of the two at the end, but I would I would 100% go with the Chaos Box. I think the Chaos Box would have won this. But obviously leave in the comments which one you guys think won, if it was either the Mystery Power Box or the Chaos Box. I think Chaos Box would take this pretty easily just because we pulled better cards. Maybe not value-wise, though. But I'll definitely, obviously, have a running total of which one's winning. I, my vote would be Chaos Box, but, again, this deck might be the downfall of both of them, which is, or might just make it lose, or might make it beat the Chaos Box. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe, and stay tuned for more content coming soon. Have a nice day.